Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Big Trouble in Little China and this movie came out in 1986, directed by John Carpenter and starring Kurt Russell and I've never seen this movie before and I know the one iconic scene of the guy blowing up and exploding and that's basically all I really knew about it and Kurt Russell was in it and I know that he's in a, a few of John Carpenter's movies and... Sadly, I, I didn't love this movie. I do have some issues with it. I kind of have some mixed feelings on it. But I didn't regret watching it. But the things that I did like, I love Kurt Russell in this movie. I think he's really fun and entertaining to watch. I did think that uh, this movie had the correct length, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't really feel as though this movie was too long, even though I did feel the pace scene dragging at a few points, although that might change if I were to see this movie a second time. And the reason why I'm bringing that up already is because this is a film that I would like to see again to see how it holds up on a second viewing now that I know what it is. My experience while watching the movie was a bit frustrating because I was like, okay, where's this going? Like, it's moving along at a... At, an acceptable pace and there's enough uh, to keep me engaged with it and I do like the action scenes although I do have one issue with the action scenes but I'll get to that in a minute and while this movie was offering me things that I liked there were points where I was like okay where is this going because halfway through the movie it felt like a decent amount had happened and it's just building up to the third act and we we're like this close away from getting to the third act when realistically we were only like halfway through the movie and I was like are they just gonna stretch this out because I really don't want them to do that and once we got into the third act of the film it does really pay off and it's awesome it's fun it's goofy it's cartoonish it's like a video game in all the ways that would make it fun to watch and that's really what saves this movie for me, is that the action is really fun and the characters are fun and likable and overall it was just a kind of a dumb story but still fun to watch. I am glad that I saw it by the end of it because the third act really saves this movie and bumps it up a lot. The last act, the last 30 minutes and the first 30 minutes are my favorite elements of the movie. Everything in between is a bit of a drag for me. It's just where I don't really care all that much. <laughs> but the stuff that I like about this movie, I really like. And my only issue with the action scenes would be that I just felt that as though there were too many close shots and we didn't get enough wide shots. Like I wanted to see more, but it didn't ruin the experience for me. And also, I did feel as though the opening scene was kind of pointless. When you really think about, like, the story and where it goes. It's like, that's never really brought up again. I don't know why it's in the movie. It's like, for people who have never seen the movie, it would work. But I feel as though if I were to watch it a second time, like, is it really going to work for me? I don't think so. I really liked uh, Kurt Russell's character in this movie and uh, what uh, his character is is like uh, he's just uh, trying to be a man and uh, show that he has uh, guts and he's like not scared of anything but the movie is kind of aware of this and kind of pokes fun at his character <laughs> and uh, where they go with that is I like quite a bit. And I did feel as though this was a uh, film that uh, understood uh, what it wanted to do and uh, I do think that this movie is probably best experienced if you're watching it in a group because I feel as though if I was showing this movie to people and watching it with other people and just say listening to the reactions like with uh, some funny lines or like some cool action scenes like I feel as though I would enjoy this movie more if I were to watch it in a group. And that's about all I have to say about Big Trouble in Little China. It was a good movie that I liked. I wouldn't say this is one of my favorite John Carpenter movies. Like, there are ones that I like better. Like, Halloween, The Thing, They Live. Like, those movies I like better, but 
this one's still pretty good. I do have my issues with it, and uh, I believe uh, this is one of those films where, like, one of uh, John Carpenter's movies that hasn't gotten a 4K Blu-ray yet, so if anyone's still looking for a 4K Blu-ray, uh, you're just going to have to stick with the 1080p Blu-ray <laughs> disc, so just keep that in mind. But I'll definitely watch this movie again, and I had fun. And the parts that I really liked about it were in the first 30 minutes and the last uh, 30 minutes. Everything in between, uh, not great, but the stuff I like, I really like, so... I would definitely recommend that you check this movie out. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Big Trouble in Little China a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of Big Trouble in Little China and my social media links, they will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation and I'll see when I get my next review up and that is going to be for Wolf Creek. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.